Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, we are doing something different than normal here on the channel. Normally, you guys will see a gameplay video or a review of Fear of the Walking Dead or Prediction or whatever, right? It's usually gameplay, generally. But this time, we're doing an unboxing. Something big for my channel, okay? You guys have been asking for the unboxing. Since I announced that I was getting this thing, I'm opting to cover up my address so you guys don't actually send me some weird things, you know? <laughs> And uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead, get into this, we're going to see what's in the box, and uh, then we're actually going to set up the webcam, the Logitech C920 is what I got by the way, and we're going to do a partial review on it, the quality of the audio that comes with the webcam, then I'll hook it up with my Blue Yeti and do a quality test that way as well, and we'll just see the all around quality of what the webcam looks like, and how I'm going to be setting it up in my videos for like face cam gameplays, and it's going to be great, okay? So go ahead. Sit back, relax, and I'm going to get into this. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've made it into the box. I'm going to try to turn the camera here. Uh, so there we go. we got the box right there. Obviously, we're going to take out the packaging, whatever this stuff is. Just stuff that we do not need. And you guys can see the webcam right here on top, guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, this is the last unboxing that you will see with my phone camera, okay? From now on, every unboxing that I do here on YouTube will be done with this webcam right here that's in the box, okay? So I did my unboxings with my phone because I didn't really have a camera to set up to do the unboxings with, right? So I didn't really have a choice, but now I'll do these unboxings on the desk here. You guys can see I have a pretty good desk. Pretty good space as long as I move the keyboard back or I could just probably take it right off. There's my Blue Yeti over there. And uh, yeah, so I have quite a bit of space, you know, some fair space here, and let's go ahead and get right into the box. So, first things first, we have the webcam in there, but what is this? Um, I gotta see if my address... Okay, we're safe, guys. We don't actually have an address on this box here. So we have a lightweight mini tripod. This is the Amazon Basics version. We'll get into this afterwards just to see how it looks. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and take out the webcam, okay? All right, so here we go. Let's get rid of this box right here. And uh, we just have this one left, right? So there it is, guys, the Logitech C920. Uh, my camera for my phone is not very great, so I do apologize for that, but I do what I can, okay? And this one is a lot better. This one shoots at full 1080p, just like my phone does, but this one's obviously gonna be a lot clearer. There's gonna be better lighting, you know, more megapixels, obviously. And uh, you guys can see, C920 there is the green one at the end, if it would focus. And that's full 1080p HD, 15 megapixel camera. It's a really good camera, okay? So this is the camera that a lot of YouTubers use for their face cam. And you can probably see me in the reflection there. So anyway, I'm going to get this open. I'm going to look at it in detail, see what else is in the box. And then we'll go ahead and set it up after I show you guys the tripod, okay? So I'll put you down and I'll be right back. Okay, so we get out of the box, guys. And now we have just the camera, obviously sitting in some sort of another cardboard box. I'm not exactly sure how this would come apart, but I will figure it out shortly. And if not, I'll put the camera back down. But it looks like it should be pretty easy, you know, theoretically. Maybe it just comes up like this, which it does. There we go. Okay, so there we go, guys. All we have in the back there is just some cords and the webcam itself. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, I'm going to have to obviously pull the camera out and then the cord out through this hole right here so I will put you guys down one more time alright guys so we got it out of the box everything's good everything's fine and uh, now we just have this here we have a manual uh, don't need that okay right so we just have the webcam right here obviously this will be either one of two places sitting up on top of my monitor because there is a way to do it uh, I know that's kinda dark again I apologize for the lighting of my phone or it will be sitting on this tripod okay so let's go ahead we'll get this open and we'll get this unwrapped because it seems to be a little bit of plastic on that and we'll see if you can fit on the tripod just nicely because there's the tripod hookup it's just plastics there right so put you guys down one more time I do apologize for that but as soon as we get this all set up we'll be on the face cam and it'll be all great okay bear with me okay so that was a lot easier than I thought to open the tripod box all I had to do was cut this little sticker right here and then it just opens up like that. And there we have the tripod. Nothing special to it, guys. It's quite literally just a tripod. It seems a little heavy duty or, you know, somewhat at least heavy duty so that it won't just, you know, break and fall apart. Because there's ones 
at the dollar store that I had a long time ago for some other cameras that I've had, and those ones have just been complete crap. But this one looks pretty good, okay? There was actually a, uh, a name brand one on the Amazon website for like $13.99, and this is the Amazon Basics one, and this one actually looks a lot a lot better quality than the one that was actually there for name brand. So we're going to go ahead and get this set up. We'll get that on the tripod. Obviously, I need two hands for that. And as soon as we have that, guys, we'll be right back. Now, as I've said, there are a couple of ways to actually set up the camera. One is right on top of the monitor, just like that. Obviously, a little off balance right now because of the cord. But uh, if it would focus or get some light in there, I'm not really sure how to do that, but... I guess like that. You guys can kind of see it right there. Maybe if I put my hand there. I don't know. That kind of does it. The lighting's weird with this phone. And uh, anyway, that's where the camera could go. And another place it could obviously go is right on top of this tripod right here. Again, the lighting is a lot better when you have, you know, it going down here to this light desk. And I know there's a truck in the background. I apologize for that. Those are the conditions I sometimes have to work with. But I can generally edit them out of the videos most of the time. It's just, uh... You know, with my phone, it's kind of hard to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up on the tripod, and we'll show you guys what that looks like, and then we will go on to the actual webcam. Okay, guys, so we got it set up on the tripod. This is what it looks like. It's very basic. You guys can see my utility knife over there. I use this thing to get into literally everything. It's just, it's amazing. I definitely recommend you guys buy one if you do a lot of unboxings. That's sort of irrelevant. I don't know where I really brought that up, but anyways, this is what the camera obviously looks like on top of the tripod and then uh that's that's pretty much yeah that, that's what it's gonna be pretty much unless i'm playing on my computer you know having some games going on my computer recording there instead of on my ps4 but as far as when i'm playing my ps4 because my ps4 is over there and there's my tv you know when i'm not playing on my computer i sort of have to sit this way to obviously play ps4 so if i have my face cam up that way it'll be pointing you know that direction and that's not something that we want we want it obviously pointing this direction right because we want to face we don't want the side view right here because that's where it would be right so that's what i got the tripod for but uh, you know obviously when i'm pc gaming i'll be straight onto the computer like this and the face can pick can pick me up better like that especially when i'm doing my episode predictions and reviews like i plan on doing with the webcam i'll have it up there on top of the monitor it's pretty basic guys when you think about it but Anyway, this thing is plug and play. That's what exactly I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plug and play. I'm gonna see how it works, open up the software, get situated with it, get used to it, and uh, then I'll record a test video, okay? We'll be back with that. Okay guys, real quickly, I do have the webcam set up and everything, but before I show you guys the test footage, I just wanna let you guys know that the first thing that you guys will be seeing is going to be test footage of the Logitech webcam raw, okay? Raw footage, not edited. Anything done to it whatsoever, I'm using the default mic that's built in to the actual Logitech webcam, and then when I switch over to my Blue Yeti, I will go ahead and let you guys know, okay? So I just wanted to let you guys know that real quick, just so it's not confusing. I'm using the webcam, non-edited, you know, not put up in the corner or anything done to the footage whatsoever, and I will be using the microphone that is built in to the webcam, okay? So that's the first thing you're going to be hearing. Play it. So this is the Logitech HD Pro webcam C920. And this is with the HD Pro Webcam C920 built-in microphone, okay? And it's not the best quality ever. You know, it's pretty decent. But for my content, I need something like a Blue Yeti, which is sitting right here beside me. If you got, you can, It's not even coming on frame. Right there. Sitting right there. So we're going to turn that on. We're going to see how that looks. And uh, then we'll probably square up our face in the middle of the webcam because it's kind of hard to do so for some reason. I mean, I have the webcam centered right here, but... I don't know. I'll have to do some things as well. And also get closer to the webcam, as I think, as well. There's a zoom feature, so I might use that. So, I don't know. I'll see you guys then. Blue Yeti, coming up. Alright guys, this is the Blue Yeti microphone. Obviously, you can see a big difference in quality for the actual microphone, guys. It's insane. And uh, I do apologize for the glare on my glasses. That's probably going to be happening a lot. Uh, there's not really much I can do about that. I have to wear glasses to see. That's that's essentially it. I might come up with a different angle. I don't know if that would help, but uh, we'll definitely see about that and uh, try to get that fixed. But nonetheless, this is the Yeti microphone quality, okay? And uh, I wanted to show you guys that. Now we're going to try to square up my face in the center of the webcam frame 
and uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see where we can go from there. Also, this is just the Yeti microphone recording on the Logitech webcam software right now, so this means I have not done anything to the audio whatsoever. I'm planning on recording my audio with Audacity and not having a microphone into the software, and then I'll make a big clap to sync it all together. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try my best because I need to do some noise removal. As you guys can see, you could probably hear, rather not see, you could probably hear like a little faint buzzing sound, or the webcam actually has a little bit of a squeak to it. Um, a lot of people have told me that, and a lot of people have told me that I should do it with my Audacity. And uh, obviously from there, I would be able to, you know, do noise removal and all that good stuff that makes my audio sound that much better. So that's the plan, okay? And I know that I'm looking at the screen, I'm looking at my face, thinking that I'm looking at the camera, but I really have to be looking up here. I will probably get used to that, but nonetheless, this is the Yeti without Audacity. Now I'm gonna try it with Audacity, we'll see how that works. Then afterwards, I will show you guys how my face cam is going to be working up in the top left corner of my videos from now on. I, uh, I will make something for it, like a little border or something around it, and then I'll put it in the top left afterwards. Show you guys a preview of what you guys can expect my gaming videos to look like from now on, because I'm most likely gonna be using face cam most of the time, and I just gotta get a little more familiar with this software. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, we are back. I'm hoping I can sync this up properly. I'm not sure how it's going to go. This is my first time, obviously, trying to do it. But I'm recording right now on Audacity with my Blue Yeti, so I can actually go ahead and do noise removal, and it should sound a lot better. Uh, but with that being said, I'm not sure if it'll make much of a difference. And with that being said, I don't know if it's going to be ultimately worth all this time. So I might just go ahead and use the webcam software after all for some of my videos. I don't really know. But we'll see how well the sync you know, works. I did the clap thing, so hopefully that does help me sync it up. Uh, but with that being said, this is the Yeti, obviously with Audacity. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here real quickly just to see if I can actually pan over to the good side of my screen and see if we can just get it centered here, which it does look pretty good right now. So I did just zoom in with the camera, with the webcam, and uh, now I'm center of your screen. Do you guys like it like this, me up close? I'm still the distance away that I was, you know, before, but obviously now I'm just a little bit closer in terms of the zoom on the actual webcam. So do you guys like it like this or do you guys like it before? It's totally up to you. It's just whether or not you guys want me more close to you guys and center or away from you guys. I could probably center myself here as well, but which way do you guys like it? I just want you guys' opinion for future videos. Do you guys like it sort of zoomed out like this? You guys like more of my body, I guess, being shown? I don't know. Or do you like it like this? You know, sort of more of the room closed off and it's just sort of more me, you know? So just let me know in the comment section below which you kind of prefer and I can definitely work from there, okay? And with that being said, that is pretty much all, guys. This is full 1080p HD. And it's an amazing webcam. I definitely recommend it to all of you guys that are out there wanting to buy a webcam for YouTube or Twitch, whatever you guys do. You know, if you guys just do skits or something for Facebook or, you know, anything like that, this camera is really good for it. Obviously, you need a USB connection to a computer to actually set up a recording software to use it. So that's obviously a downside to it if you wanted to take it elsewhere without a computer. You know, you don't really have an internal SD card or anything like that to record from. It's uh, it's purely just plug and play. All right, so that is one downside to it. But for face cams and just general talking to you guys, uh, maybe we can do some Google Hangouts sometime. I haven't done those in a long time because I haven't actually had a webcam. But if you guys will be down for it, I have this full 1080p HD one now. And I think that would be interesting to interact with you guys sometimes. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see any of that stuff. And this has been an unboxing, my first unboxing with this webcam. I mean, obviously I did the first part with my phone. Kind of hard to unbox a webcam with a webcam. Okay, guys, I'm going to be completely honest with you here. I just recorded this section of the video and I forgot to click record on the webcam. Yeah, that <laughs> that's the issues that I'm running into right now. I clicked record on Audacity. I clicked record on my Elgato. I did not click record on the webcam. I don't even have words to describe that. that. That's stupid. Anyways, right before we go, I wanted to record a little test recording for you guys to see how my face cam looks 
in the top right hand corner of my videos okay and just for that purpose let's go up there right now all right so as you guys can see ps4 dashboard is in the background right now that is what i'm looking at you guys are set up on the tripod this is me with my ps4 set up obviously i have my controller right here just for purposes i'm not going to be playing anything okay so this is just what you guys are going to be seeing when i'm playing ps4 uh, from now on on my videos with the little face cam in the top right hand corner of my videos maybe it'll be up in the top left i don't know we'll see how it goes sometimes but anyway the last clip that you guys just seen was actually me with my webcam and audacity set up on my monitor okay and i wasn't really sure how to sync the audio up with it because i muted the audio on the webcam software and then i just recorded the audacity audio stupid i don't know how i'm going to sync that up very well i'm going to try my best with it but I'm actually now going to be recording the audio on the Logitech webcam software and Audacity at the exact same time so that when I clap, there's a huge spike in both audios and I can sync them up perfectly, right? It, it makes sense if you think about it. Uh, I just didn't for some reason think of that, but now I do. I'll just obviously mute the audio that comes with the Logitech webcam software uh, when I get into Sony Vegas. It goes without saying, okay? That's what I'll be doing. And uh, it's a very smart way to sync up. Like I said, I don't know why I didn't think of it before. But with that being said, this is what you guys will be seeing when I'm playing PS4, when I'm playing PC, or just doing a PC review video. Something along those lines, an unboxing or something, you guys will be seeing it up there on top of my monitor without the tripod. But for the PS4 videos, I have to be sort of looking this way or it's just, it's not going to make sense, right? So I just want to show you guys that and uh, show you guys the setup here and... Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, feel free to hit the video with a like, all that good stuff. I might bring a webcam video tomorrow along with my Rust Speed build because Rust Speed builds are pretty easy to make. Uh, so I might bring you guys something with the webcam. I'm still thinking on it, but uh, definitely let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see something like that. With that being said, support the channel in whatever way that you guys can, whether that be a like, a subscription, a comment, it does not matter. Everything helps, but we are really close to 1,900 subscribers right now, guys, and getting me there would mean the world to me. So with that being said, it should all be synced up, you know, perfectly, theoretically. I, I, I think I should be able to do it just fine. But uh, if there's any issues, I will get better at it. Trust me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we are back here doing another episode prediction for Fear the Walking Dead, this week's up and coming episode. This is season two, episode 10, entitled Do Not Disturb. Okay, so as always, I'm going to go ahead and go over the synopsis of the episode. You guys, of course, can follow along on AMC.com.